guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is double unboxing of Boxy Charm, and my girl is back. We have the same exact box this month. Mm -hmm. It is um, variation 13. 13, buddy. And the theme is Harvest. Harvest, sweater this weather. The color. Fall is here. Oh, yes. I love fall. So pull out, yeah, pull out your hot chocolates, your coquitos, your what, rum and coke, if you are on that. Yeah, okay. buddy. <laughs> so, speaking of fall, our first item that we're going to be talking about is this beautiful five palette eyeshadow by Natasha Denona. It retails for 48 bucks. Um, that's It's paraben. Lot. Yeah, that's a lot. It is a lot, 48 bucks for this. So apparently what she did was she pulled um, eyeshadows from her favorite, some of her other palettes that she had, her favorite palettes, to give us this um, beautiful fall. Just yes. the time of fall. Kind of matches your sweater. It does. It's kind of, it's like a natural yes. fall colors, which should go with anything. Mm -hmm. Brown, um, orange, so, even burgundy, I believe. Yeah, so this is paraffin, um, paraffin free. And not tested on animals. So those of you who adore your little fur babies, like I do, like we do. Yes. This is a good product to use. But the only thing is, forty eight bucks is a lot. And the packaging looks cheap. It's cheap. To it me, looks it looks so really cheap. cheap. I've had better packaging that was well worth it. But I've never really heard yeah. of this brand that much. So mm -hmm. those guys who did this, so. If you ever use it, just let us know in the comments yeah, how it does. Put it down below. Put it down below. The second item is Volition Beauty Snow Mushroom Water Serum. Retails for 62 bucks. This is the most expensive item in our box. Mm -hmm. And that's what it actually looks like. Um, so it's supposed to be for all skin types, which you guys already know. I do not like that because if it's not specified to me, it's not going to work. I have oily skin. So the she and yep. we don't want all that shine, extra shine. We already we shining. Really we don't need to be yes. shining no more. We don't want to look like diamonds no, in the sky. No, no. Mm -mm, no that's I not mean, cute. Uh, we are, but we, we are diamonds, but we don't want to be shining. That is not you. I could, no, I'll be not. shining from miles away, mm -hmm. especially T zone yes. cheeks. For all oily skin people, yeah, I know y'all feel us. Yes. Um, so it's supposed to hydrate, help improve moisture retention, minimize pores and redness and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So basically just gives you an overall apparel, appearance mm. of skin texture. So um, I will be trying it out. Okay. However, I don't think it's gonna work for me. None of them do anyways. Oof. But normally whatever doesn't work for me, what do you do with the stuff that doesn't work for you? <sighs> it goes in the box in the corner. I'm not gonna okay. lie. I like, Or I end up throwing it out. Or I might give it to somebody else, one of my friends that it yeah. may work for who don't right. have oily skin. Yeah. But if it's something that I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use, I probably try to give it away as a gift or maybe even sell it back well so. this may be a shocker to some but what i do i put it on my butt cheeks yes some of this stuff has chemicals i can't give to my daughter and some other things that my husband mm -hmm. will use i will be put i put it on my butt cheeks what is it's mean? skin it's just i mean it's like keeping your butt cheeks very nice and with healthy skin <laughs> that's what i do let me know what y'all do she put let us know in the comments. This so, is something new. I'm just finding. I'm finding this out right along with y'all. This is a shocker to me. She's putting it on. I do. Much. I put it. I put all the serums that are because I have dry skin. On your butt cheeks. All over my body except my face. Oh. So it's weird because I do need the lotion and I don't like lotion. Mm -hmm. So what I can't use on my face, I just use on my butt cheeks. It's just extra hydration, extra, you know. You heard it here, folks. You, you butt exfoliate cheeks. your... You exfoliate your body, you know, your skin. True. So it's the same thing with your butt cheeks. That I just treat it like my face. That's all. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> What's the next item we got? Okay. <laughs> so the next item we have is this milk makeup waterproof mascara. It's called Kush Mascara. What? So this mascara, it retails for $24, and I will say it's totally worth it. Um, She's excited to try Yes, that. I am. I love mascara. She knows I love mascara. I'm excited to try this because, one, like, the packaging is, like, this really heavy, too. And the brush. Look at that. That brush, guys. I love it. It's like a butterfly brush. What is it? Heart-shaped fibers. 
um, conditioning hemp derived from cannabis seed oil. That's so it's, interesting. It's infused with cannabis. So when you put this on, guys, <laughs> you gonna get the munchies. You gonna get the munchies. Your eye shot, your um, mascara will give you a little bit of that cannabis, a little CBD or whatever. This is not recommended for anybody who has to get drug tested if they do hair tests because you won't be screwed. If they decide to take this from your eye. So they like if you don't have no hair or anything like that, they take hair from anywhere when they do this. So I would not advise this. But I'm so excited to try this because I love a waterproof mascara because my eyes constantly run because I have bad allergies. Stuff get in my eyes, my eyes get to flaring and I get to run in. And that is not pretty to have all that black running down your face. Yeah, yeah. So I love this. I am so excited to try this. But you'll let us know yeah. how it goes. I, I don't think know. I'll try it yet. I have so many other mascaras to get through before that one. I mean, I go um, through mascara, so. Yeah, yeah. well, that's good. <laughs> um, that's a good. And this was our, our choice yeah. for the month. So, um. The choices for the month was really sucky this month. They were, yeah. I was like, what? It was two choices of mascara. It was this one. It was this the same one, but it just wasn't waterproof. Or more eyeshadow. More eyeshadow. Which we have piles. Or, yeah, we have piles of eyeshadow. Or it was something else that we couldn't even choose. What I know, was it? it was like sold out. And was, I, I yeah. can't remember, but it was, it sucked. So oh. I was just like, this is the best thing I could do. And I haven't really tried anything milk um, makeup brand. So I'm, I'm intrigued of that and i have you tried any of the um hemp or cbd infused no, cosmetics before i haven't because i really can't uh well i have tried tear, tear. a cbd lip scrub and it feels outstanding mm. um i really can't tell the difference between like if it has made any difference as far as like moisture or brightening the skin or whatever they claim to did do. you feel a little relaxed after you tried no it's, so it doesn't work like that oh. um i know we all wish like let me <laughs> No, it doesn't, it's supposed to just enhance your, you know, beauty mm. and skin routine and stuff like that. Okay. There was something else I, I think it was like an eye shadow or eye, like an eye cream or something like that. Gotcha. But it was extra hydrating, so I was like, I can't do that. And that's about it. Um, okay, so the next item we have here is In Cosmetics Lip Oil. Retails for 11 mm. bucks. And um, it's supposed to just be on the go. You can put it on top of lipstick for an added sheen. I'm going to go ahead and try it on because my lips are dry. It's Ooh, so oily. It is. Look at that bubble. Uh, and it does make sure it's pop. Oh, my God. It There's, smells so good. It does. Um, You're going to make me open mine. Okay. We're going to open that put it on. We're going to do a double try because my lips are my very lips, dry. My lip gloss is popping now. Your lip gloss is popping. <laughs> Mine is very dry. I, like, I have to keep my lips moisturized. So, what do y'all think? It does give some shine. And, you know, there's a lot of lip oils have come along the way mm -hmm. lately. So, I do like the fact that if I can't use it, I can give it to my kid. My, my daughter, she gets everything that I don't like. Oh, it does. Oh, it smells and so it's not, it's not sticky. It smells so good. It, it smells, does. It smells, smells like, like you want to eat it. Like I don't know if it's no. Hold on. Oh, look at that! It does. It gives you a little. I can't find the quite like the smell. I don't. It's not cherry. It's not strawberry. It's like. Mmm. It's not bubble gum either. I can't. Oh. You smell it though, right? Like cookies. It's like a cookie type smell. Yes, like a sugar cookie. But it don't taste like it, though. Oh, I'm not trying that. I, I don't, do not do that at home. It don't taste like <laughs> um, it. And so, mm -hmm. oh, I forgot. the We got a 25% off yes. from the eyeshadow lady. So, if you all, any of you all liked those colors and one more. Are interested? 25% off coupons. It says, well, it's not a coupon. It just says 25 off site-wide. Off the site um natasha denona <laughs> the last item is this primer let me put it this way so y'all can read it it is alamar cosmetics pero primero primer long wear sticky pigment base retails for 15 bucks this is for your eyes for eyeshadow and it says here that it's supposed to work as little do so mm. i will be trying that mm. when i say she does good eyeshadow with the glitter she does yeah i would suck at it <laughs> no stop i so i do the shimmer the glitter is like oh I've, I've done some but 
yeah we still need to practice on that so anyways guys that concludes the unboxings of boxy charm and now we're gonna do a little bit of wine tasting we have a tiny sample of a new wine that we haven't tried before so we're gonna go ahead and pour those up and mm -hmm. tell you more about it we have moiselle red moscato from california so it is made in the u.s and it says what i can't see <laughs> Lively flavors of sweet, citrus, and peach with a bright berry finish. So this wine pairs well with some cheeses. It says spicy cuisines and a dessert. So where the donuts? Yeah, the donuts. <laughs> Get you some good hot and fresh crispy creams mm. or a strawberry shortcake probably. Something with strawberries in there. Since it's got like that berry in there, it probably will yeah. finish it off just right. So what this is, I got this out of... Uh, it's called a 24, it's a, 20, a calendar, it's an advent calendar, it's a wine calendar. It's exclusive to all these, what they sell these. Um, I don't know. So it's 24 of these little bottles in here. Yeah. So. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a Christmas special. Um, we're going to do and film a video each week, flavoring a few or a couple, maybe five, four. I don't know. We have to see. Um, and, you know, Shane, though. <laughs> Showing you and telling you information about the wines. Um, I love all these. They're so economical with like products and stuff. And so they have good wine as well. So they do. I'm excited for this. It is. Aside from the fact that I like my casual wine. Um, so yeah, let's get to try We're it. We're going to try this. Mm. What do you taste? It's not bad. It's like it has that. I do taste the berry finish. I don't taste like the citrus and the peach. But I do taste that berry at the end. It tastes more like berry rather than mm -hmm. than any anything else. I don't taste the, the, the peach. It reminds me of this wine Dollar General sells. Ooh, it's not called, Dollar General wine. Yeah, well, you find it anywhere else. Mm. It's, it's the Gallo brand. I don't know. It's, oh it's a cheap wine. Oh, the, the cheap wines make you boozy quick. <laughs> it's a, it's so it's strawberry flavor so that's what gotcha. it takes me back to it's really good it's sweet for those that like sweet wine like i do i can have nothing dry it's not dry so it's oh it's really good i give this a five out of five in my opinion what are you giving yeah this is a five out of five and i'm i wish i did have a dessert to try to taste with this i have a donut you want a donut look we're gonna try it, it ain't no Krispy green though well, look we can try with a donut All we right. can split this in half okay so we found a muffin in my kitchen and we can't tell what the heck it is. It's like what you said, ginger. I said carrot cake. It's more like a gingerbread type of flavor to oh, it. Um, so good. Yeah, we would show you, but the muffin is just smashed all to to smithereens. I don't so. know what happened there. Yeah, but we're gonna try this. This is what it looks like. It's good. It's good, like good. Just so y'all can get a little, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So get that on my palate. <laughs> First, I'm gonna mix it up. I <laughs> I, I just taste the muffin. It kind of goes with it, a, yeah. <laughs> it kind of goes with it, but like I said, it probably will be a little bit better with. A actual like berry like some like a cranberry because it's so tart it has that tart that yeah that, yeah yeah that yeah, yeah like something like a a tart berry so it's probably what about, like, what about something like cold but it said spicy cuisines <laughs> it's good either way it is it's so, really good wine it's up uh, go get it i think it's 4.99 a bottle yeah, so for the for the the regular bottle, it's four ninety nine a yeah. bottle for the regular tall size bottle. The seven hundred and fifty milliliter bottle. Yeah, this right here, like I said, came in the Aldi's wine advent calendar, but I do not think they are available anymore. These things sell out quick, and the only way I was able to know about it is I drive for Aldi's. So um, yeah, yeah. So I got it first day it went on sale. The first day they put it out, which was November the fourth. So like people was in there buying them like hotcakes, and it retail for like sixty nine bucks. Yeah. So it is. It is in a, in a higher bracket. Yeah. Um, 
I know. If I would have seen it, I would be like, so I ain't paying that but much. The thing is, it's not all the same brand. It's different types of wines. It's sweet wines, dry wines. I will bring the box next time so you can see it. It's shaped like a little Christmas tree. And it gives you it's a description cute. of all the wines on the back of it. Um, yeah. So, But like I said, I'm with her. I can't stay in dry wines. One dry wine I've tasted at home and I, ha I have oh to mix it with God. the Stella Rosa Black is the <laughs> Menage a Trois Black. No. It's so dry. The only way I'm able to drink it is if I mix it with the Stella Rosa Black. It is such a dry wine. Mm -mm -mm. I, dry wine I use for cooking. Like if I mm. try a bon, because I'll be trying different wines. If mm -hmm. I try one and I don't like it, it goes into my kitchen. Whether it's supposed to or not, it's just, otherwise I'm going to just. So yeah. when you come here and eat, prepare to be boozy by the time you leave. Because <laughs> she cooks it. I do. I sure mm -hmm. do. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and staying this whole time um, to spend some time with us yeah. and our silliness um, <laughs> until next month for our next double unboxing. Bye. Bye.